The first way to install the Windows 10 update is through Windows Update. To update to Windows 10, go to the Start menu, then go to the Gear symbol or Settings. Go to Updates and Security, hit Check for Updates, and Windows 10 will either automatically download and install, or it will be listed as an optional update to install. You can hit the Restart button now or when you're ready to restart. The update can take an additional 15 to 30 minutes. The second way to install the Windows 10 update is with the Media Creation Tool. Go to Google, search Media Creation Tool. It should be the first link. Download Windows 10 Disk Image, ISO file, Microsoft. Hit that link. Hit the Download Tool Now button. Go to where you saved the file and open it. Accept the agreement and hit Next. Select Upgrade This PC Now and click Next. On the Install Windows 10 screen, hit Next. Windows 10 setup will likely update itself. And after a moment, you'll be presented notices and licensing terms. Accept. If you want to keep all your apps and files and are ready to go ahead, hit install. The third way to install the Windows 10 update is with the media creation tool using the USB method or ISO. When you run the media creation tool and accept the agreement, you'll be presented with the upgrade this PC now and create installation media, USB flash drive, DVD, or ISO file for another PC options. We will select the second option. Now this option may sound a little misleading with the another PC piece. It's really for any PC. It can be used to install over USB or for clean installs. Hit next. The selection here will be based off your PC. You can change it if you want, but for most people, what's listed should be fine. Hit next. In this screen, you have the choices of USB flash drive, DVD, or ISO file. Since I don't have a DVD burner, it's not listed. If you select USB flash drive, it must be at least eight gigabytes and it will be erased. Be aware if you select this option. You can also select the ISO file here. Hit next to the ISO file, save the file. The necessary files will download and hit finish. The fourth way is to install the Windows 10 date through the Windows Insider website. Go to Google, search Windows Insider Download. It should be the first link. Download Windows 10 Insider Preview Advanced, Microsoft. Hit that link. You need to be signed into your Microsoft account as a Windows Insider. It's easy to do. And if you don't have a Microsoft account, you can create one by hitting the sign in button and selecting create account. Scroll down to where it says select edition. Select the option Windows 10 Insider Preview, hit confirm, select your language and hit confirm again. Hit the 64 bit download button and save it. it can take a few minutes to an hour to download depending on your internet speed. The fifth way to install Windows 10 update, downloading from the UUP Dump website. Go to Google, search UUP Dump. Click on the first link to UUP Dump. For most people, you can select the feature update corresponding to the architecture x64. If you have an old 32-bit processor or ARM-based processor, you can choose that link. At the top, you can change the language or leave it as default and hit next. On this page, you can leave the default option selected, or if you know which version you have, select only Windows 10 Home or Pro or the end version. It will save time. Now, if you have education or enterprise, you will have that option available on the next page. To keep it simple, I'll take them all and hit next. If you're looking for Windows 10 Education, Enterprise, or the other versions, you can make that choice by selecting the third option here. For everyone else, in the conversion section, I suggest selecting the second and third option to make the image smaller and include .NET Framework 3.5 so you don't have to get it when you first launch an app like Epic Games Launcher. Epic. Click on Create Download Package. Chrome may flag the zip file as suspicious, and that's likely because not many people know about this site. 
Select Keep after the download completes. Now let's open the file. Go to the Compressed Folder Tools and Extract All. You can put or use the default folder name. Double click on the Area 2 Download Windows Command file. And this will take time to download and make the ISO. Now, if you have errors building the ISO, it could be because of an overclock on the PC. While making this video, I had to redo it a couple times because I had memory overclocked a little too high. I had a couple of blue screens recently and finally made the connection to it. But for most people, you won't have an overclock, so it'll be working completely fine. Now, this process will take anywhere between 30 to 60 minutes. Let's start installing the Windows 10 to update with the ISOs. Double click on the ISO you downloaded, run Setup, hit Next, accept the notices and licensing terms, Windows will get the updates, and most people will keep their files and apps. This is the last reminder to back up your files. After this, Windows 10 update will start. If you're good, hit install to continue. The Windows 10 update will take 15 to 60 minutes. After the Windows 10 2004 update is installed, you can check to ensure you're on the right version. To do so, in the search bar or the run command, type winver, select it or hit enter. The version will display and the OS build. In my case, it was 19041.264. If you have an older version of Windows 10, you can update to the latest version by going to Windows Update and check for updates. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this, smash that subscribe button and turn on notifications. Thanks for watching, guys, and here's a couple of videos you may like. Have a good one, and I'll see you next time.